Good morning and welcome to the video for Wednesday, May the 13th. This is going to be our homework video for sixth grade, working on our lesson covering measures of variability. So let's go ahead and take a look at our problems. Uh, for number two, for the range, we're working with 95 minus 60, which is going to give us a range of 35. Uh, for number three, our upper quartile is 90, our lower quartile is 70. When we subtract those values, we get an interquartile range of 20. For number four, our mean is nine, and so we get a uh, amount of deviation of 18 divided by five data points, which gives us three and three fifths, or 3.6 centimeters. For number five, we are going to end up with a mean of five years old, and so when we go ahead and add these, we get uh, we've got 10 for the variable um, divided by 8, uh, which is going to give us 1 and 2 eighths, which translates to being 1.25. Uh, for number 6, our mean is 35, and so we end up with a mean absolute deviation of 2.4. Uh, for number 7, our mean was 65, so here are all the values for that. We end up with um, 24 for our deviation divided by six uh, data points, which gives us a mean absolute deviation of four. Our range goes from 72 back to 59, which is going to be 13. Our interquartile range, again, we're working with six data points, so we'd be doing 68 minus 61 for that, and that would be seven. Uh, for number eight, our mean is going to be 60, and so as we work to find our uh, mean absolute deviation, uh, that's going to give us a value of 68 sevenths. Uh, so 68 divided by 7 is going to give us 9 and 5 sevenths, which is not going to translate uh, neatly into a decimal value. So if we were working with parts over 8, we could multiply by 0.125 and get something that's easy to work with. If we divide a number by 7, we are going to get a really long decimal value. So it's not worth changing that. Don't feel uh, like you need to if we end up with one of those. Our range is going to go from 80 back to uh, 41, which is going to give us a range of 39. Uh, our value for the upper quartile is going to be 72. Our value for the lower quartile is going to be 45. So our uh, quartile, interquartile range is going to be 27. Uh, going to the back, we have a mean of 64 degrees Fahrenheit. Uh, so we should end up with 18 fifths and then that translates to being 3.6 degrees Fahrenheit for our mean absolute deviation. Uh, for number two, uh, we wanted to find the interquartile range, so in between 120 and 122 would give us the lower quartile of 121, in between 144 and 153, uh, and this one being 9, we are going to have a um, 0.5 at the end of that, so it would be 148.5 degrees Fahrenheit, or sorry, uh, 148.5 calories. I'm getting stuck in a rut again. Uh, so if I subtract those two numbers, our interquartile range would be 27.5 calories. Uh, for number three, how many days did the restaurant sell more than 59 pizzas? We are looking at this part here, and our frequency would be 20. Uh, the peak for number four occurs between 20 and 39 pizzas sold per day. For number five, the mode, the only number that's repeated would be 14. And for number six, the mean given was 23. Um, so we end up with a value of 18 on the top divided by nine data points for a mean absolute deviation of two. So that covers uh, the homework problems for today. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask in Google Classroom or reach out to your classroom teacher. Uh, I will be doing a new lesson on Thursday and Friday this week. Uh, so stay tuned for those. Hope you have a wonderful day and I will see you tomorrow.